Hello, second graders. I'm going to walk you through how I would draw a person swimming underwater. So I've left some pictures for you, or you can do a search if you've got a specific pose in mind, or maybe have someone pose for you so you can look at them. Once you know how to draw a basic person, so we were talking about head, body, arms, whoa, phone's falling asleep, how to do that if you just use those same parts to kind of plan your next figure. Sometimes I even work first with just a, oops, the arm doesn't bend that way. I just work with a stick figure. There we go. And what's funny about swimming is that you're, um, if you actually have a camera that takes pictures underwater, there's some pretty funny poses that happen. So this person's face is up and then we see the back and part of the leg and it's really important to show that like the um, the body is bending here and then the foot. And just do your best. This is kind of a fun drawing. So we're trying something new. Um, we don't draw people swimming underwater every day, but it makes kind of an interesting picture. Um, something different and unexpected, which is always great when it comes to art. So I've got my line and then I'm thinking about that, building it up so it actually looks like um, a person. I'm going to zoom in to see which way were her hands. Okay, so her thumb is down. So when you go to draw hands, sometimes I start with a mitten idea. So I know that because the thumb sticks out a little different and then I can draw the other. I think he's a little smaller. Okay, and then let's zoom in over here. This one, I think this was an advertisement for those diving rings. So she's kind of skimming the floor, thinking about where those rings are. Okay, then once you have the basic body planned out, I guess I can draw some of the fingers in here. There we go. You're going to think about what swimsuit you want to put on. So um, here we're going to see the shoulder. We're going to see the straps. And then on the back, maybe I will have it scoop a little bit, like it's coming up to join into those straps. Her shoulder in the picture, the shoulder kind of covers up some of the back. So actually, um, we might not see quite where that strap connects to this because that's kind of a bend. There we go. So I'm going to erase some of these lines and think about how can I, I think I need that to go just a little bit more like this so it looks like the heel and not like her ankle is broken. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. So, got my drawing. Then the fun part is thinking about drawing in goggles. So in first grade, we talked about how to draw a face. So that's the top and the bottom of the head. Remember the eyes are in the middle, between the eyes and chin, nose is in the middle, between the nose and chin, mouth is in the middle. So if she's wearing goggles, that's kind of fun because I don't have to worry about drawing the eyes. I'm just going to draw these great big goggles with a strap, the nose, and I think I want it to look like this is fun under the water. So I'm going to give her a smile. When you draw really small pictures, you don't have to put as much detail in sometimes. So like, I'm not going to worry about the teeth because this is actually a pretty small drawing. And then if a person's underwater, I'm going to draw long hair just because it's kind of fun to think about it floating all over in the water. Um, some of the pictures I found of people swimming, they have swim caps on. You could also do that and do like a colorful swim cap. Let's see. I'm just going to look at this picture. Oh, and this one, her hair isn't even floating away. Well, I want mine to be floating all over the place. That's kind of a fun, why not, fun thing to draw there. Maybe it'll make it part this way. I'm going to erase some of those lines that I used to 
the plan out the head so it, you just see the hair floating. How does this look? And it's even going to cover up part of that swimsuit. Um, okay, I want it to come all the way down by the ear. There we go. Okay, so I've got my person nice and big. I probably could have even drawn a little bit bigger on my paper. And then maybe I'll include those rings too. I kind of like that idea that she's diving for swim rings at the bottom of the pool. That's one of my favorite things to do. All right, good luck drawing your swimming person. Oh, there's the swim rings. Good luck drawing a swimming person. I look forward to seeing your picture sketches on Seesaw.